Bert, Urban Dog Photog, and um, yeah, that's me. I am a photojournalist, but I've decided to take it into a different uh, niche market. And so now what I do is I actually photograph um, clients and their dogs and tell their story. I saw there was a growing uh, market for some really editorialized, editorial style of photography with animals and pets and it was untapped and I thought, I think I can give that a go. There's a great saying, it says, do what you love and love what you do and I could not probably think of a better phrase. I just absolutely adore uh, working with dogs and working with the clients who just adore their dogs. Um, and I think for me, um, in my own life, I actually define my life in dog years. So there's the lucky years, there's the Dylan years, and now there's the Jilly years, who's sitting at my feet. <laughs> and I think uh, for me, um, I associate an important part of my life and time with that particular dog. And I, I get really fond memories and I think that because they're silent, and because they're loyal, noble, and true, um, and they take our secrets with them, that they're the best companions. And uh, I think the fact that they can't speak just drives me as a photographer even more to speak for them and to capture what they're thinking and um, present it to the client. And when the client sees the images on the screen, um, I, I get an overwhelming feeling of, of gratification when you know, I see them reach for that Kleenex or um, they're feeling really emotional about this, this session because we did capture who that dog was. I use my journalism skills, my, my photojournalism skills to figure out what the owner really appreciates about that dog and what they are going to remember them forever. Um, I like to call them the old souls because they are so wise and um, the things that make me love them is that they could be on their deathbed but if you bring out a ball and you go outside they'll run forever for you and you see that spark come again and it's just I think knowing the timing and knowing when to shoot and when to observe and, and how to capture that story. So what's that saying? Never work with dogs, never work with kids. Throw it out the window. I had a great session here. Um, kids and dogs, kids and puppies are fantastic. They, they feed off of each other. They're, they're uninhibited. They, they'll do anything for you. And, and the goofier they are, the, the better. And, and I love that. I think it's, it's true emotion. And um, that's exactly what a photojournalist looks for. I just really like to have fun. I'm trained as a photojournalist. I'm trained to capture what's going on at the moment. So when you put me into a two acre yard, I'm gonna come back with some fantastic shots of dogs running and, and enjoying the, the fresh air. Um, and I really like the moments when I stand back and observe and I see a dog running to their owner. Just that jubilation and that excitement. Uh, it's. I love it. I went. Oh my goodness. You say I love you? No, say I love you. Say I love you. 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 I love you.